Well, what's going on cheers welcome back to another video in this video we're going to quickly go over what powell said by the time you're watching this biden is addressing the nation or he is currently finished which should actually add some more volatility some more volume in the markets tomorrow just like jerome powell did today he left interest rates unchanged as we speculated as they seem to will be unchanged to possibly 2023 according to jerome powell the printer is still going brrr, with 80 billion of treasury securities purchased a month and 40 billion of mortgage-backed securities added to that as well, totaling to around 120 billion. They do not seem to stop anytime soon. When they asked him about GameStop and Doge, he said some asset prices are too high, but these stocks do not seem to be phased and they do not trade off of fundamentals and they will continue to not trade on fundamentals. Then Jerome Powell went ahead and dropped the F-bomb. He said some things in equities do reflect froth in markets. He already had his comments on GameStop and Doge. Maybe he's talking about SPACs this time. Who knows? We'll see where he updates us in June. Biden is tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Let's see what he says. You might have a push in clean energy plays. He's also going to lay out the American Families Plan, which is funded by corp tax hikes and is working its way through Congress as we speak. Let's hear Biden um, in a couple hours. Let's see what he has to say. Let's see the volatility, the volume, the plays that are going to be happening tomorrow. And let's talk about some of the plays today. Big tech earnings beat. Apple B, Facebook B. Apple had around 49%, I believe, margins, the highest it had in nine years. Facebook advertising company is completely killing it. Look at both of these stocks after hours. These are going to be plays that we're watching 100%. And there's also rumors of a stock split on Amazon. You best believe, baby, if Amazon splits, it comes down. More volatility, more volume. Day traders like myself are definitely going to hop on that. Speaking of Facebook, it was rumored that they were holding Bitcoin and immediately Bitcoin shot up. But it flew back down after the earnings report and it turned out to be false. So if you did see that Bitcoin pop and you're wondering what news came out because this is a very odd spike for Bitcoin to have um, on the up and on the down. This is why it was rumored for Facebook to be holding Bitcoin. It turned out not to be true. General Motors is stepping on Tesla and, and they're hopping in with their EV infrastructure plan in which they signed around seven contracts with some EV charging uh, companies. Uh, Blink, ChargePoint are some of the ones we were talking about. CHPT around 20 bucks, and there's around seven. So all of them shot up right before market close. This, like I said, it steps on Tesla quite a bit, which as of now, Tesla is not looking strong. It's not. It might come down to 650s around 660s where it has that gap to fill. But as we took a look at the history of Tesla after earnings on how it performs, it usually tends to fade off for a couple days, maybe even a week or two. And then it starts its reversal. And with the 10 years sitting around 1.6 after bumping up from 1.5, this is not going to be the best. Um, it's not going to be the best look for EV stocks or, or tech stocks in general. But we have Biden later. Remember that he might come through and save some EV and pump EV. So you might see some EV movement tomorrow. The next stock that had earnings today that completely crushed earnings and beat was Ford. But why is it dropping? They gave guidance that they're bound to lose 50% of their second quarter production due to the chip shortage and they immediately dropped after hours this is a snag to those of you who love ford i think this is an amazing long-term play it's on discount for after hours last two of course are gamestop and amc gamestop has an amazing daily technical chart going on for itself 180 190 resistance after that it's of course that level we were fighting for quite some time the 200 dollar mark if we continue these higher lows, if we potentially get a catalyst in the next coming weeks related to maybe an acquisition, um, some esports teams, I do not know more plans on what Ryan Cohen is going to do. You can definitely have that push above 200. But to me, these hedgies, there's a whales playing around with GameStop and AMC right now. Hence why we see some intraday, midday spikes um, here and there. And as for AMC, sorry you guys could hear my computer. Sounds like a jet is about to take off. There's like a fan going on there. But Adam Aaron completely shut down my foot my my uncertainty with the 500 million share dilution in which i was very uncertain about i was very uneasy about it i his, he was for it out of nowhere i think he pulled a bear trap i think he's trapping the shorts he's trapping the hedgies and then i started to balance things out I'm like what if his proxy advisors told him hey adam this is not gonna pass which it should have never pass ridiculous 500 million are you kidding me it should never ever ever pass and they told him it's not gonna pass adam might as well pull it out use that news as a bullish catalyst um for your stock and just dilute the remaining whatever 43 million they had from last time. I don't even know from when and which they are. So the stock did pull back slightly. It's it. I'm, I, I am interested, but I'm only going to be day trading it till May 6th. I'll make up my mind May 6th. They do have earnings on May 6th. So from then now, I'm going to be day trading today. I day traded a thousand shares of AMC. 
I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy in thousand blocks. I do have problem executing with Think or Swim. It doesn't fill my orders really quick. That's a problem if you're gonna be day trading. That's that's the route I'm gonna go, guys. I've decided I'm gonna be day trading. I don't plan to hold AMC. I'm sorry, I know that's not the news you guys probably want to hear, but um, like always, I keep it real with, um, with, with what I'm going to do, with how I'm going to go about things. So I'll be with you guys. Um, I'll enjoy the momentum on it for now, but for a hold, it's it's not going to happen. So um, if you guys found this video of any value, make sure you slap a like, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the live stream. Peace out.